517 folks look at the temperatures this morning we are in the low to mid 70s that's how we are starting our day now we're not gonna get much above 80 but still I'll give you an idea of just what this south wind is doing to us noticing around Sarasota we had a wind gust of 41 miles per hour so far this morning 41 that's tropical storm strength. So there's a lot of wind out ahead of this line of rain and thunderstorms, which is going to come through later today, late morning, early afternoon ish. So winds will be gusting right along the coast this morning, close to 40 and then maybe even close to 50 or above 50 later today. That's what kind of day we have going on. And you know what that's going to do to the water as well. When you're pushing a 40 to 50 mile per hour wind gusting out of the south and the southwest, that's going to push the water up against the coast. And that's why we have coastal flood warnings in effect today. So it's like the wind advisory coastal flood warnings were under a slight risk for severe storms. So it's going to be a quick hit. This is not going to be all that long, but boy, oh boy, we got a lot of weather to get through throughout the day today. Here is your line of rain and storms. Now, now, when this line moves through here, I don't think we're going to get that much rain. We're going to get some heavy downpours, but it's going to quickly move through. So that shouldn't be an issue for us. We've got our other issues. Here's your slight chance for severe storms really now from Manatee County northward, even parts of Polk County under a slight risk, just to the south on that a marginal risk. There is a lot of wind in the mid to upper levels of the atmosphere. So when these storms come rolling through, it's not going to take take much to take that damaging wind and bring it back down to the ground. So that will be, I think, our big concern this afternoon as we're watching this line of rain roll through. Now, here's 2 o'clock. Moving it through the Tampa St. Pete area at 2 o'clock. So if you propagate that northward, it would be late morning or around lunchtime, say around Citrus County. And as it slides through, folks, this is going to be very, very windy. Again, one or two thunderstorms could be strong. And then it's over. And by 9, 10 o'clock tonight, it's all out of here. The advisories are all dropped. And then we have a magnificently drier, gorgeous weekend coming our way. So we will be handsomely rewarded beginning tonight for next several days. But we've got a lot of weather to get through today. So my advice to everybody out there, especially those along the coast, you need your Sky Tower radar apps not only on, but the notifications on in case we get the watches and the warnings. And be careful this afternoon, the time of the high tide, as again, the water levels could be two to four feet above where they would normally be, maybe five in a couple of spots. So rain and storms move through. We a windy coastal flood warning now. Temperatures up around 80 degrees. And it's all going to clear out tonight. Breezy and drier with temperatures in the mid 60s. And then tomorrow, lots of sunshine for your Friday. Breezy and dry. Tomorrow's going to be a great day with temps in the upper 70s. Listen to this a gale warning is in effect now offshore. Seas running five to seven feet. And the high tide I'm concerned about in St. Pete's at 339. So, middle of the afternoon, as this rain and wind is pushing in, it's going to push that water up against the coast. So, please be mindful of that, especially in areas that flood very easily when high tide goes up two to four feet above what it normally would be. Saturday, Sunday, gorgeous, and then the heat is on next week, Tuesday and Wednesday, up close to 90 in spots.